Hello again, welcome back. As we mentioned previously, Webb is a space telescope, and there are lots of advantages to putting telescopes into space. They can be used all the time, not just when it's dark, and there aren't all the other things humans have made getting in the way, like buildings, planes, and cars. But how will Webb get into space? How do we normally send things to space? I'll give you a little clue. T minus five, four, three, two, one, Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Discovery has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. To get Webb into space, we're going to need a rocket. And to understand how that works, I think we should do a rocket launch right here. Now I've got a rocket in my hand. I know it looks like a water bottle, but it is a rocket, honestly. I'm going to fill it with some fuel to help it blast off. Now this is a very flammable fuel called ethanol, especially flammable when it mixes with air. So that's why I'm just shaking it around now to get it all nice and mixed in. Okay. And in a moment, we're going to have a countdown. So make sure you are ready to join in. All right, I think that should be ready soon. Are we ready for our countdown? We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Blast off. <laughs> That was very cool. But how does it actually work? When a rocket pushes exhaust, known as propellant, out the end, it moves in the opposite direction. This is because the rocket pushes on the propellant, but the propellant also pushes on the rocket. This is the exact same reason why balloons fly away if you let all the air out. So that's rocket science. Maybe not quite as complicated as you'd expect. In a moment, you'll get to make your own rockets, but just before that, I think we should launch one more. We'll have to go outside for this one because we're going to need lots of space. Five, four, 